Let's see what you've learned. It's time for a self-quiz. Have you ever heard of cloven-hoofed animals? Cloven-hoofed animals have divided feet. Examples of these animals are pigs, cows, sheep, and goats. Listen to this story which is about a disease that affected cloven-hoofed animals. In 1996, Metro Manila was struck by shocking news. Pigs and cows were becoming victims of the foot and mouth disease. The foot and mouth disease, or FMD, is a severe communicable viral disease of cattle and swine. It also affects sheep, goats, deer, and other cloven hoofed with split hooves ruminants. It is characterized by fever and blister-like lesions on the tongue and lips, in the mouth, on the teeth, and between the claws. Many affected animals recover, but the disease leaves them sick. It causes severe losses in the production of meat and milk. Because of this information, many people were afraid to buy the meat of pigs and other cloven-hoofed animals such as cows, goats, and deer. Many market vendors were affected by the situation. They were forced to sell their products at bargain prices. But despite these bargains, people were still not confident in buying their products. People were concerned about their health and safety, not knowing if the communicable disease had an effect on people. The Department of Health, or DOH, tried to persuade the people not to worry since there were studies that showed FMD doesn't affect people. Still, people were not buying pork and the meat of other cloven-hoofed animals. It took time before people started to buy meat again. The reasons for changing their minds were due to the measures taken by countries affected by the disease. When people saw and learned how affected countries dealt with the situation, their consumer confidence was regained. Now, pig raising facilities are stricter than before. They implement measures to prevent any possibility of their cattle acquiring the dreaded disease. Now, answer the following questions. 1. What is the foot and mouth disease? Give a brief description of this disease. 2. What animals are affected by this disease? 3. If you were a consumer during the outbreak of this disease, would you buy the meat of other cloven-hoofed animals? Why or why not? 4. What do you think led to the bargain prices of products in the story? Why? 5. As a consumer who would want to buy meat during the foot and mouth disease scare, how would you guarantee that the product you're buying is safe for you and your family? 6. What helped the consumers regain their confidence to buy meat again in the story? 7. If you were a market vendor, how would you overcome the situation in the story? 8. What is the common price of beef per kilo in a market near your community? Is this lower compared to other markets? Why? Compare your price with that of another market. Well, how did it go? Compare your answers with the matching answer key of this lesson when you log in to your online LMS account.